Good morning. Sunday morning. Happy manifesting on a Sunday. So, sorry for my messy setup here. I'm going to just wanted to record this really quickly while I get ready for work. I took a pause to put this out there. I'm working on getting my camera set up to where I can have my hands free and do filming. That didn't work this morning. I'm trying to get the audio working on the new microphone. So these are two new sets of earrings that I just made yesterday and just finished them this morning. I cut out pieces of cardboard from a tissue box that already had a floral print on it. And then I stippled paint from fingernail polish. I used this cheap gray polish from the Dollar Tree, I believe is where I got it, over top of it. And then I went over that with just some glitter, pink glitter polish that I had. And then I always seal the front and the back with clear nail polish. This one is Sally Hansen. It dries instantly. I do like the Sally Hansen's um, when I'm crafting because it does set up hard. It dries fast and my earrings have lasted for years doing it that way. I have a few pairs of earrings that I made four years ago and I've worn them in mid-Missouri weather, um, snow, ice, sleet, rain, sun, wind, and they've held up just fine. So the back I just coated with that gray polish and yeah, there you go. Um, you can cut out lots of fun shapes. I just free cut the edges. I don't worry about getting the edges absolutely perfect. I'll line them up on top of each other after I kind of get them cut out to go around the edges just a little bit to try to get them pretty close to the same shape and size but they're not perfect I like the rough edge look um, I think it's fun and unique I get lots of compliments every time I wear a set I make matching jewelry um, matching jewelry I mean matching necklaces to go with it this is the hole punch that I use to punch the hole in it to put the ear findings, the loops in, and when I'm not using that, I'll oh, see where did it go. Then I will just sometimes put it on a hard surface on a washcloth, poke a hole in with a little thumbtack. These are the tiny tools that I use when gripping the ear findings and getting them situated in the ear loops. I pick those up at Michael's store. But this is what I do when I just want to artfully manifest. When I'm in a crafty, creative mood, I have all kinds of crafts that I piddle with and let my mind be free where I'm not stressing and worrying. Is my manifestation coming? Am I getting this job interview? Am I going to be able to pay my bills? Am I going to be able to do this? Am I going to get that? I No. No worries. Put your mind at ease. Start crafting. Let your mind be free and keep your hands busy and kind of just let your mind relax. Um, messing with the middle, getting out of God's way. God doesn't need our help. So some people call it God. Some people call it the universe. You know, I think there is a universal power behind the universe. There, there's, there is a God-like power behind the universe. And I was raised Christian, and I don't want to get into a big... Um, debate on where that energy comes from, but there definitely is a universal power that's very magnetic. It's full-flowing energy all the time, and it says yes to everything. So I'm always saying, be careful what you manifest. Be careful where your thoughts go. Um, you can make it a rule that negative thoughts do not manifest, but definitely put out there positive thoughts that you want to manifest and just focus on that. Yes, and realize you already have it now. Creation is already finished. Just step into that new reality. Every second, every minute, every week is a new beginning. Every day is a new beginning. Step into the new you. This is where forgiveness comes from. Revise. Forgiveness and revision. Forgive yourself for negative thoughts. Revise. Revise your thoughts. Revise past events. And you'll get everything that you desire. I have so many success stories in my own life um, where this is so true. Keep a mindful watch on where you're manifesting. 
if negative things happen, back up and say, wait a minute, where did I have that thought? Where did that come from? And then you can kind of pinpoint, oh yeah, I had that negative, what if? I was thinking, oh, well, what if negative things happen? And start training your mind to say, okay, well, what if positive things happen? What if this happens? What if that happens? In, in a positive light. But there's positive what ifs out there. Um, I've manifested a job. I've manifested being able to raise my children from home. I've manifested trips. I've manifested so many things. Yesterday, I will give you a really fun example. Manifestations are big and small. And yesterday, I had bought a vlogging kit at one Walmart in the city where I live. And it was around on sale for around 24 something. $24 and maybe 96 cents, let's say. And then I get it home and it's missing like six components. I had to take the box immediately back. I went to a different Walmart store in the city where I live. And we opened up a brand new box. Everything was in it that I needed, that, that, it, that the box said it came with. And it ended up being on sale for $21. And that, that is exactly what I told myself on the way to the store. Well, I'm going to this other store. It's going to have everything I need in the box and it's going to be even cheaper. And it was. It was on sale for $21 and everything was in the box brand new, unopened. Um... So those are fun manifestation tips. Those are just fun things that you set your mind to. Nope, this is what I want. This is the way it's going to be. And don't have any negative thoughts against that. Don't, don't have any hang-ups. Opposing thoughts. Because that's where you might see a hang-up where you think, Oh, the, this doesn't work. My manifestation isn't coming. Yes, it is. Just keep focused in one direction keep forward focused. Yes, this is what I want. This is where I'm getting. Okay. And then watch it unfold. So happy manifesting. Happy Sunday. Design your purposeful life with purposeful manifesting thoughts. Um, and make it artful in the meantime. I like to do art therapy um, to watch those manifestations come in where it keeps my mind occupied so I'm not dwelling on it. Dwelling and giving myself a chance to have negative thoughts. Nope. Stop those in their tracks. Have fun and create. That's what this channel is going to be about. We're going to do lots of creating and lots of activities. Um, so like, comment, share, and subscribe. Leave positive comments in the comment section below the video. Let me know if you would like one-on-one -on -one coaching to work with me and I can help you learn this fun technique and to manifest everything you want. Happy Sunday. Bye.